This is my 1136 completion that I got earlier today. I believe it's the third fastest run I've ever had, but what I really like about it is it has the least amount of retiming. So if you have a run faster than 13 minutes, it'll get retimed by your timer mod. You'll see in the, in the top right if you have extra long pauses or something like that. Usually I'll have one to like 10 seconds added on because I was just pausing longer than I needed to. But in this, I have, what was it? It was 0.15 seconds of retime, which feels so cool. It's, it, I, I don't know. It makes me, it's like proof that I'm improving with my speed running. Oh, did you see that? There was birch on that tree. I don't know if anybody else saw. I, I, this is the first time I noticed it. Um, the, I, I could have picked up even more wood. Not that it really matters here. I have 36 planks. It's like more than enough for a speed run. But I find it kind of funny. There's just some birch logs sitting on top of that birch tree. Another thing that I've been liking about speedrunning recently is the confidence in my crafting. I upped my sensitivity the other day. I was just watching back this crafting and it, it feels so good, dude. It's insane. So we're in the ocean now looking for our, our typical magma ravine. I decided to get a dolphin here, which is definitely a bonus. It probably saves maybe 10 seconds max maybe 10 seconds is a little bit high i decided to swim into a corner of a block there so i don't go flying because of dolphin's grace totally works out and i get my flint in the first couple of tries oh it's this run i forgot i forget the flint though or well i didn't forget it i knew there was one above me but i knew i mined two pieces of flint and so i don't know i just missed it and had to go back so that's minus a couple of seconds we start building a portal here do i mess it up oh no Oh, okay, I, I don't mess it up that bad. I think in my last speedrunning video, I made this same mistake with this portal. It's every single time I have to put my doors in my sixth slot, I mess up the portal. And if that doesn't make a lot of sense to you, that's fine. It's it's very niche speedrunning thing. <laughs> All we need to really pay attention to, it's, it's a 204 nether enter, so probably a little bit slower than average. Definitely playable though. I, I know I have Bastion really close by. And I think I checked my pie chart relatively soon and see that I have a spawner? No, I guess not. I see the bash in here though. It's right around this corner and I could have, oh here I checked the pie chart, but it's on the wrong thing. Anyways, I could have taken some higher terrain, maybe. Shoot, I just got a text. I hope I'm not being too loud. Okay, I was, I was worried it was like my brother saying like, bro, be freaking quiet. You're yapping in your room about speedrunning. It's 12, 13 at AM. That's actually never happened, but I tried to be cognizant of it at the very least. So we've entered the Bastion, 240, very good. This is my favorite kind of Bastion. Dry, la is it dry lava? No, dry manhunt housing, I think is just the official term. So I changed it to hard mode for a second to aggro piglins. It just makes it so they can drop from higher heights. So I'll get, I'll just get more piglins coming to my hole. And we start our Bastion route. It's pretty standard. One thing that I haven't done in a while is just kind of yap about what I've been up to in real life while I route the Bastions. I think it's a, a good opportunity to do that because the Bastion route is, it's a route. You do the same thing every single time. So it's kind of boring. Today, I was making a video that you've, that, I don't know if you've seen it, okay? Maybe this is the first video you've seen of me. But I made a video today on building. I've been trying to, do a bit more building, kind of learn how to build more. And it's been really fun. So I had a lot of fun editing that, but it was a lot more editing than these commentary videos, even though it's like a more laid back style of video, it's still a lot of cutting. And it feels nice to be able to just like commentate on things like this. You know, I don't have to make as many cuts. I do actually make quite a few cuts in the commentary if I just stop talking and I, I like finish the point and I don't know what I'm gonna say next. Because I, I tend to feel that videos, I, I just don't like awkward pa like pauses in the middle of it. I think that's something true, at least in the past for me with general conversation, if there's an awkward pause, I, I try to fill it. And so that comes out in the videos. Oh, watch this. You see that block clutch? That was freaking hype, bro. Um, so point is, I, I don't even remember what the point was. I I try to, oh, that's right. I'm, I try not to have super long pauses, but that doesn't really matter in this speed run. Dude, I just yap sometimes. Like when I'm doing these commentaries, this is a, this is a big old yap session. We're entering the fortress at four, 36, boom, very solid pace. I also have a, a nice home portal, which feels really cool. I only had, I don't remember the exact numbers. Maybe I have 14 obsidian right now, so I can only build one nether portal. And I debated 
going to the top of the bastion to try and get a few more pieces, but I think it it, it was definitely the smart play to skip that. It, it would have taken another 30, 40, maybe even in a minute because it was buried in basalt, and the chance of me getting 10 obsidian was pretty low, so that felt kind of good. We're now at our spawner at five minutes flat, so nothing groundbreaking. I think the fastest I've been at a spawner is 4.30, but this is good enough pace to Actually, I, I wasn't really nervous in this. Maybe I'm forgetting. This is good enough pace to make me nervous, but I don't think I was nervous on this particular instance. It was kind of weird. I was doing some ranked speedrunning right before this, so this is like random speedrunning, right? But I was versing some opponents earlier, and I got pretty nervous playing my friend Dylan because it was uh, a very important match in terms of like how many points I get for like the, the end of season tournament, and so... That was kind of interesting. Maybe I just got all of my nerves out before hitting this run. That axe craft was clean. Can I just say that? I remember thinking that when I did it, and I should I should preface like I'm not the, the the cleanest crafter ever, but it felt clean to me. I don't know why I'm saying that. I'm saying that in like defense to myself in case somebody <laughs> like with crazy crafting is watching me like, bro, this guy's such a noob. See how slow he moves his mouth. I just feel so hyped about it having up my sensitivity it, ju it just feels so good i finally feel like i'm I, not on the same playing field as top runners but i can i can be on the same like the same playing field like my mouse movements aren't slower than theirs for the most part i mean there's some people that are crazy but i don't know i'm killing some blazes here this uh run would have been a lot faster if we had better blaze rates i think we go five for 14. I'm pretty sure I leave on five rods just because of pace. On average, you have to kill, what, 12 blazes for six rods? So 14 for five, not good. But it's kind of cool this run is still good, even with the bad blaze rates. It makes me feel like I'm playing pretty well. I've been doing a lot of resetting the past couple of days. Oh yeah, here we go. We got the five rods and I'm just out. I know it's seven minutes already. I need to be blinding, otherwise there's no way this is going to be able to PB. Honestly, I can blind at like 7.30 and still have a shot to PB, which is kind of kind of cool to think. My my PB feels very doable. Oh, this is this is crazy. Okay, pause the video right now. Oh, wait, no, then that would stop the commentary. I was going to ask, like, what would you do in this situation? I can't open my inventory because I'm in portal animation, and I, I'm, I'm, I've obby trapped myself. And so my first instance was to, like, use a bucket to break the portal, but I put that in my inventory. And so I think it's kind of cool that I threw a pearl to get out of a portal. I'd never done that before. So that's what makes this run cool. Maybe I can think of it as the the pearl, the pearl porter, uh, pearl portal, portal room run. Cause this has a portal room in it and you gotta have like the triple P. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> we're going back into another 750. Looks like we're gonna enter. So depending how good the terrain is to second portal cords, this can easily be an eight minute stronghold, which it should have been. Spoiler, it's a 914. I think it's hard to keep all the times in, in track, but it's definitely over an eight minute stronghold. The terrain here is actually really nice. I can't remember what the distance was. I think it showed on the screen for half a second. Maybe I, 1500 blocks, so slightly less than 200 blocks in the nether. I'm basically there on the Z axis or X axis. I just need to get there on the Z axis. So this is probably the biggest mistake of the whole run. I overshoot my pearl here by 30, 40, maybe even 50 blocks. So this is all just a big time waste. Um, getting to the cords and like I, I i would have had to build somewhat unless i just like nail the pearl right on but that doesn't happen every single time so i have to build out this way a little bit i turn start bridging this way it's almost nine minutes i'm not even thinking about the time right now but it'd be cool to have another eight minute stronghold i fall in the lava oh my gosh but here we go i think this portal build is pretty cool wait for it we're almost there four more blocks two more blocks one two boom oh come on grab the obsidian there you go Boom, oh my gosh. I've been really loving building that por portal recently. I do I do so much practice with it. It just, it's so satisfying, bro. I love playing Minecraft. I love speedrunning. It's great. So now we're doing preemptive, trying to get a spike of where the spawner is. I, I honestly cannot remember what this is like. I get a spike this way. I'm like, nope, it's not that way. And then Fyro's Law. You see, you see part of a stronghold in a cave and it's not messed up, that means it's the portal room. So I know this is the portal room. I'm struggling a bit here to get my eyes out. 
and we enter. I, the, the reason I was uh, struggling to put the eyes in is because I was debating going for a zero cycle. Oh my gosh, I forget about this. We have to drink fire res. I'm on two hearts, bro. How am I gonna kill the dragon with two hearts? We shall soon see. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to do it. I think it's a little bit RNG, but you'll see in a second. The thing I was talking about though was debating going for a zero cycle, which is a faster way to kill the dragon. And I could have technically hunger reset, um, cause to zero cycle, you need like full health. So I would have had to like place a bed down and kill myself, but I would have had to do it with gravel and it would have been really awkward. So I think it's probably just smart to enter fast here and hope we get a good perch, which is unfortunate that it's the correct play because I really want a PB with a zero cycle in it. They just start so cool. I got taught how to zero cycle, I don't know, six months ago, maybe even a year and I just haven't had a PB with it yet. So surely that will happen soon. Technically, if the dragon perch right now, maybe this could sub 11. That's that's my goal currently. My PB is 11.04. So I just need I just need four seconds, and then I got a sub 11. I've got sub 11s in practice and ranked and stuff like that, but never in a real run. Now, does the dragon perch here? Oh, I thought it was gonna perch there. That's so sad. The 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 critical thing here is I only have two hearts which means I can only blow up three beds because beds do half a heart of damage. However, I have armor on, so I'm hoping that having a chest plate and leggings will absorb one of those half heart explosions because the minimum you can realistically kill the dragon with is four beds. So I need to do four explosions and I'm looking at my hearts like, oh my gosh, I need to absorb at least one heart of damage or I have to three bed. Both not good scenarios. First bed, great. Second bed, eh, solid. Third bed, amazing, and I absorb the damage and we kill the dragon on half a heart. So that makes it feel a little cooler. We don't have very much retiming. I think I played it very solidly when we finish. 11, 36. So that's kind of hype. I hope your guys' day was going well too, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.